So this morning, a homeless guy came to my door and he offered, he saw that I had a project going in the front yard and he offered to help me out with it for a few bucks and uh, kind of prayed while I was talking to him and it seemed like the right thing to do. So I gave him my shovel and I came out here and I said, okay, I've, I've dumped some mulch out here that needs to be mixed in because this is like clay, real clay soil and I want to turn it up. And I said, why don't you mix in, turn this dirt over and mix it all in and make it level. Um, and I, I, I was gonna give him 10 bucks, I only had eight and a granola bar is what I gave him. And I said, just dig it all up and level it out and mix in this mulch and see how it is. And the guy, you know, we talked for a little bit and he re remembered me from the rescue mission. I remembered him. And, um, and then I said, if you work for about half an hour and then when you're done, just leave my shovel up by the door. Um, so he worked for eight minutes and I'm just looking at the work and, uh, how it's, you know, it's uneven, it's not mixed in, there's sticks laying by the curb, and there's a brick that's offset, and um, I mean, not openly criticizing his work, because I was giving him the eight bucks, just to give him the eight bucks, right? Um, but I, I was also giving him a chance. And what's really wild is this is how we are every day. Every day a client or a customer or a friend gives us a chance and you know scripture says work for your masters work for everybody like you're working for the Lord not for eye service of men and basically this guy he had a chance he could have really done this awesome and picked up all those sticks and come and asked me for a trash can to put the sticks in and uh, he could have just really put a half an hour into this like I asked him to. And at the end, I would have felt like I owed him, right? I would have been like, man, this guy totally went above and beyond what I had talked about. Uh, I'm going to give him more money and I'm going to hire him again. But um, he did the bare minimum. He did less than the bare minimum. So I'm probably not going to do that again. And... If he, if he had the open door, he had permission from me, like the money was moving, that was his chance to just totally blow me away. And so from a homeless man's perspective, uh, this house is money, man. I mean, you know, you could come back and come back. If you're in work, in business, and you sign a contract, and you do the bare minimum, and you barely get by, and you leave a bunch of sticks, you're probably not going to get that customer again, right? But if you overwhelm them and make it incredible, all of a sudden they feel like they owe you and they owe you more business. So, eight bucks for a good little character lesson and uh, a good little test for me too.